extension for Chinese laundry. We just like, started on this jump today to the corner, and now we're going you know, to put it off today, hopefully, and then we'll be able to get the head back up to the top. And, and then obviously the P endorsement and class one and class two licenses, prices yeah. or anything like that. If they want this prize, this kind of deal, yeah. they have to do this online before they come. Yeah, right. You'll have an you'll have access to the back end of the system, which is called Checkfront. Yeah. Um, date start, date finish. Yeah. Or time start, time, time finish, start, depending yeah. if it's a multi day pass or a or a half or full day pass. Full yeah, day. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, I'll come in and just try and get around there and then. We've got a bit of, bit, of, bit of rock for our asphalt pump track, a bit of base for the pump track. Yep. Got four truck and trailer loads coming today. Hopefully she doesn't get stuck there. Oh no. Good mix, size, lines in it. Be nice to work with the shaping up and then mix a bit of clay in with it just to pack in properly. So, yeah, no, it should be a good material. So, we got another thousand native trees to put in here. We've already put in a thousand this winter, so we've put in about another 500 in the last week, and we've got another four or five hundred to go. So. Get 440 green again after all these trees have been cut down. Let's put some trees in. Just provide some protection from weeds, but it also helps retain some water. And uh, yeah, look after our beautiful little natives. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Standing on the new section of the uphill trail, this was lost with harvesting earlier this winter. So we've just finished rebuilding this climb. This takes you up to the top of Awakuni and top of uh, Gum Diggers Two Trail. So yeah, we've just just finished this and. It's a good access point to uh, non-shuttle a whole bunch of the 440 trails, yeah. It's good to have this link back in. So there's some advantages with losing all these trees. Look at that view. Not too bad. That's a Coromandel Peninsula out there. Further Thames. Bloody nice. Right, we're standing here on the old Awakuni Trail or ridge line. It's now harvested and we've put in two new trails in this area. We've got a Beautiful little hand-built trail that drops down through the natives over there. We just finished that up yesterday. And then on this face here, Cam Cole built us a really sick little grade three flow, sort of with a bit of hand-built feel to it. Standing here on the new Rako Mato trail, or an Aussie Rako Mato. Sick little hand-built, grade four, for all you uh, hardcore shredders out there. Right, so we've got our new grade five jump track. It's a rebuild of Pretty Fly, but completely new. Um, some pretty massive doubles you can see here in the background. Um, built by John T. Vink with a big 25 ton digger. So we, we're just waiting to, for it to dry out a bit and then we're going to put some nice shape into these. So yeah, this is going to be pretty gnarly. So it's not going to be for everyone, but going to get some sick photos down here for sure.
got uh, the bottom of Chinese laundry finished. You started on a new exit to the native trails. And yeah, more trees have come down and prep for more trails. So another day in paradise at 440. Only two weeks away to opening. I don't know if we're gonna make it, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> 